Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome to my monthly makeup basket installment number two. Um, so I've started doing monthly makeup baskets. I publish them mid-monthly because that's easier for me. I've got too much end of month and start of month content. Um, so basically what I do is I pick out a bunch of products to have a play with um, over the next like four weeks and then I'll come back, update you guys how I feel about the products and um, create a new basket. So I'm gonna start with like base products. I've got the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer here. I still quite enjoy this. Um, it's sort of like a balmy, um, slightly silicony primer, um, but it's very thin, so I quite like that one. Oh, I just stuck the lid in it, good job. Um, I'm gonna keep that one in rotation to continue playing with it a little bit. Uh, the Tatcha, no, sorry, the Pacifica Coconut Essence Hydra Mist. I really like this. It does contain glycerin, so if I use too much, it breaks down my foundation a little bit quicker but if I remember to use it sparingly I really like it and the scent is amazing so um, I'm gonna hold on to that product I really enjoy it but I am going to move that one out of rotation um, the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation I didn't use it once so I'm gonna keep it in rotation the Linda Holberg Infinity Filter Loose Setting Powder. I don't mind this. It's not the best powder I've ever used, um, but it like it does a good job of setting makeup. I'm going to move that out of rotation and pop something new in to play with. Um, the this is the incredible You Glow Girl Iridescent um, like highlight jelly. This actually really surprised me. <laughs> I quite like it. It doesn't work well with all of my foundation combos, like going over the top, um, but for some it works really well. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, I've got a few others which I'm also gonna like try to play with. I might, look, I'll decide when I get to my highlighter drawer. This could be a difficult part of my collection to deal with. Um, Wet n Wild Colour Icon Shade Shifting Blush. Oh, I had such a bad time with this, guys. It's really beautiful, but the formula, it's interesting. It, it's like the binding ingredients, um, they want to work as an eyeshadow, not as a blush. So, I, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this, um, just in like my standard storage drawers and decide about that at a later date because I don't know how I feel about it. Um, okay, let's do, did I do powder? I did. Let's do these guys. So brows first. This is a goof proof, bleh, goof proof brow pencil in shade two. I've actually put this in my project pan, so I am moving that out of rotation um, in the makeup baskets. Uh, the Beauty People Miss 100 Super Waterproof, water, oh my god, I can't talk. Super Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in uh, Glimmer Burgundy. Man, this is stunning. I love this pencil so much. I freaking love it. That is staying. I am going to take it out of rotation because I've got a few other eyeliner pencils that I want to play with. Um, the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, I actually planned on using these as eyeliners. I don't like them as a liquid lipstick formula. I don't wear them. Um, but as eyeliners, they work. They really do work. Um, I do feel like the formula is quite thin and these are two nude shades. Um, this one's kind of a, a mauve nude. It's called Delicious. Um, it looks cool as an eyeliner, but I've got to do a lot of work to build it up. This one is Can't Relate, and it's a nude shade. I thought that might be kind of cool as a base for using like eyeshadows to put over the top and work as an eyeliner. So I'm actually going to keep them. <laughs> I am going to keep them. I'm going to put them in my eyeliner drawer though. Um, so I've got them for future use if I want to. Uh, 
uh, have a play with them. Colourpop Volumising Mascara. I like this. It's a nice mascara. Um, it definitely volumizes. It helps to lengthen. It's quite nice. I do find sometimes it seems to sort of um, transfer, I suppose, um, throughout the day, but I think it really does depend on what is on my base. Um, if my base products are a bit too oily or emollient, um, it, it will transfer, but it doesn't do it all the time. So, you know, and I will say with the transferring and stuff, that is actually a very common issue for me. Um, even waterproof mascaras, if my like eye base or my concealer under my eyes or whatever is too emollient, a waterproof mascara will like smudge down there throughout the day. So, you know, I don't really, I don't blame the mascara for that. Um, this one is the Astralis Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream. Oh my god, I loved this. This is so nice. It's really opaque. It's light on the lips, but like gives really nice coverage. Um, I will say it's so easy to apply way too much and have goopy lips, but if you get just the right amount on there, it's a beautiful product. I'm keeping that. I really liked it. Um, Mecca Max, this is a lip whip in the shade Caramel. Oh, I don't like these. Um, so you can, like, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. And look at this sponge. I, I really want to pull this sponge off, so let's do it now so you guys can get the satisfaction as well. Oh yeah, it's not good. It's really gross. So it just comes out there. Let's get some and show you. Ugh. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's so thick. Ugh. Nah. Look, I'm gonna just stick this in my lip drawer. I'm gonna do a declutter at the end of the year or maybe early next year. Um, and I'll get rid of it then. The last product is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I haven't been an eyeshadow primer user like on a regular basis for, I don't know, at least a year. Um, I use them occasionally, but mostly I just use a concealer. Um, and there's one thing that I've learnt that I need from an eyeshadow primer. I need it to have some sort of stickiness. Um, if it sets, I just don't like them. I find that eyeshadows, like it's great if you're blending a matte over it, um, cause the mattes don't stick, they blend out beautifully. But then I like to go in with something really rich and pigmented and often sparkly over the actual eyelid. And for that, you often need something that's quite sticky. It's gonna like hold on to eyeshadows. And I find that this one, it sets and I just don't, I don't enjoy it. So um, that's another one. It's eventually going to be decluttered. All right, let's start pulling some things out to have a play with. These are like my new, not, not necessarily new, but like makeup products <clears throat> that I haven't played with a lot. Um, so primers, um, I think it's safe to pull out a primer because I know that I like the Tatcha one. Um, I've got a small one in my project pan and I can probably find space to play with another one. I'm going to pull out the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Something that's taking up a lot of space. These. These are the Shuamora Stage uh, Performer All in One Minute Makeup prep masks, so I think maybe you use them like a primer. Um, I, I don't know. It, it's a sheet mask that you use before your makeup. It doesn't say whether you should use it over skincare, under skincare, or what. I, I don't know. I might Google it and try and find out some more information, but it's kind of big and bulky and I'd really like to tidy this drawer up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to pull those out to play with. And I'm going to move some primers over here because I actually have room for them. Oh, there's an eye primer. Okay. Smashbox 24 hour photo finish uh, eye primer, shadow primer. I'm going to put that one in and have a play with it, see if I like it. 
The setting spray that I'm pulling out is MAC Fix Plus. Uh, this is the Cherry Blossom one from the Boom Boom Bloom collection. I already know that I like this product, so it's an easy one. I do have one in my project pan that I realistically think I can finish by the next project pan update. So um, I do want to focus on that, but having one that I know works for me to use is great. Okay, powder. I'm going to pull out this because it's quite big and bulky. This was one that we played with on the uh, Makeup Breakup. It is from a brand... Oh, I can't remember the brand name. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but essentially we crushed up these little colored balls. I'm going to give it a go. It might work under my eyes. If not, I'm going to empty it out and just stick the little container somewhere and display it. And that way it's not taking up room in this drawer. This is a highlight blush and bronzer drawer. Um, I, I want to pick out some blushes and I think I might... How many have I got in here? One, two three. I don't know whether to consider that a blush or a bronzer. Let's see. Well, that, that is very reflective. That is going to be a blush, if anything, for me. The reason I'm pulling out so many is because the blush in my project pan is almost done. So it's a really good time for me to just play with new blushes. So I'm going to pick out those four. Um, that's enough for me to play with throughout the month and see what I think of them. Single shadows, uh, pigments, liners, there's some mascaras and stuff back here. Um, okay, knowing that the Jeffree Star uh, liquid lipsticks work as liners, I'm actually going to pull out every single one of the liquid lipsticks that I was thinking about using as a liner, including Requiem from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I swore I would put off doing, and I'm gonna put them in the project to play with as liners. If I like the colors and they don't smudge, I will keep them. If not, they're gonna eventually be decluttered. I'm also gonna put in the two Gel Presso waterproof pencil liners from Cleo. These are really cool. Um, so these are like gel eye pencils. Um, I'm gonna put them both in, have a play with those. This one, which is this shade here, is Firewood. And this one is Power Play, I think. Yeah, the name of this one is Power Play and that is sort of a metallic raspberry red. This really annoys me over here. There is just so much in here. Um, I'm going to pull out these guys. These are the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. Now, realistically, I'm probably not going to use these ends, but I want to play with these glitter ends. And if I like the glitter ends, then I'm going to hold on to them. This is the lip drawer and it's kind of the dreaded lip drawer at the moment because I feel like I have not, like there's too much in here. It doesn't look like there's too much. Like if this is all of the lip products you have, then great. But this is not all of the lip products I have. So this is too much. Um, I'm going to pull out the hourglass ones. I've literally only worn these once each. It's not enough. They can be used a few times more. Um, and I'm also going to pull out, let's, let's just do a whole bunch of these. Let's do the Labiot Wine Lip Tints. Um, I've got a matte one and I believe these are more of a satin formula. And this one here is the wine lipstick. So I'm just going to pull those out. I want to have a play with them, see how I feel. I've had them for a long time. I've used them here and there, but not really enough to like actually generate any feelings about them. I definitely need a concealer to play with. Um, mm, I've introduced a new one into my project pan. I think it's breaking me out. So I'm going to go with something that I know I love. I'm going to go with the Maybelline Fit Me. And this guy here is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude. I don't remember how I feel about this. So I'm going to chuck that one in as well. Um, I think I might also bring in a powder from this drawer. 
Um, might go the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. It uh, doesn't look very radiant to me, but anyway, I'm going to give that a go. I don't think I've used it. I want to bring in another highlighter, um, but I want to bring it in from like my standard highlighting drawer. Um, I might go one of these hourglass ones because I have not used them in forever. And I'm going to go this one. So this is a uh, brilliant strobe light. I have the first four that released and those all look a bit pinky and bronzy uh, for my personal preference at the moment. So that's the one. Here it all is. This looks like a lot, um, but there's a lot of things that I'm looking at. I'm, I'm gonna know if I like them. Um, this Ofra bronzer, I already feel like just from swatching it, I'm like, eh, I don't think that's gonna fit in my life. Um, these glitters, you know, pop them on your eye. If they stay there and they don't fall or crease or anything like that, great. They're nice. They have a place. Same as these guys, which will be destined to be used as liquid liners if they work. The hourglass lipsticks, I already know I'm keeping them. I just want to play with them more. These Labiot uh, lip products. You've only got to wear them a few times to know which colours are your faves and whether the formula is nice or not. Powders, they're easy. I already know that I like this little guy. Um, so, yeah. A lot of it, you don't have to use it every single day for a month to know how you feel about it. I think that more comes down to things like uh, primers and stuff like that. So I'll be tackling this stuff for the next month and I'll be back to let you guys know how I went with it all. If you see anything here that you love and adore or you simply despise, let me know what it is. Um, let me know your feels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.